Want to become a cat whisperer? Stay tuned. Welcome to a journey that will transform your relationship with our feline friends. Today, we're delving into 10 scientifically proven methods to win over even the most discerning of cats. This isn't about tricks or gimmicks. It's about understanding, respect, and building a bond based on trust. So if you've ever wondered why cats seem to gravitate towards some people more than others, you're in the right place. So if you're ready to become your cat's favorite person, stick around. First things first, understanding cat behavior. Cats, you see, are solitary hunters. This is a stark contrast to our canine friends who are pack animals. This fundamental difference means that cats have a different set of social needs and ways of communicating. For instance, cats can be extremely territorial, marking out their personal space and defending it from intruders. They may also be more selective with their social interactions, choosing when and with whom they want to engage. Cats also have a unique language of their own. They communicate not just through vocalizations, but also through body language, scent marking, and even scratching. Understanding these behaviors can help us better connect with our feline friends. It allows us to respect their needs, interpret their communications, and ultimately build a stronger bond with them. So the next time you're trying to get your cat to like you, remember this. A cat isn't a small dog. They have their own unique behaviors and preferences. Moving on to our first tip, respect their space. Cats, much like us, are territorial creatures. They enjoy having a space they can call their own, a place to retreat to when they want some alone time. It's essentially their sanctuary. So how do we respect a cat's space? Firstly, never force interaction. Cats are independent creatures and they'll interact with you when they're ready. If a cat is hiding or seems disinterested, let them be. They'll appreciate you more for it. Secondly, allow them to come to you. This might be hard, especially when they're being extra cute, but it's important. Wait for them to approach you first. It's a sign they feel safe and are comfortable around you. Finally, respect their personal belongings. Their bed, toys, and scratching posts are their possessions. Try not to move them around too much or use them yourself. Respecting a cat's space is the first step to gaining their trust. Here's a fun fact. Cats communicate with their eyes. Yes, that's right. The science behind this behavior is fascinating. When a cat slowly blinks at you, it's not just a casual eye movement. It's a sign of trust and affection in the feline world. Scientists believe this slow blink is like a cat's version of a kiss, a way to express their comfort and fondness for you. So next time, try slow blinking at your cat. They might just blink back. Our next tip, engage in playtime. Playing with your cat is not just a fun way to bond, but it's also crucial for their mental and physical health. It provides them with the necessary exercise to keep their bodies agile and their minds sharp. It's a great way to channel their energy and keep them entertained, reducing the chance of them developing destructive behaviors. To make playtime even more exciting, consider using toys that mimic prey. Cats are natural hunters, and these types of toys can help satisfy their hunting instincts. Whether it's a toy mouse, a feather wand, or a laser pointer, these playthings can stimulate their predatory skills, giving them a sense of satisfaction and accomplishment. And remember, playtime isn't just about the toys. It's also about the interaction and the time spent together. It's about understanding your cat's playstyle and adapting to it. So engage with your cat, make playtime a routine, and enjoy the bonding experience it brings. Remember, a played cat is a happy cat. Did you know cats love high places? There's an interesting reason behind this. They feel safer when they're up high. It's all about having a bird's eye view of their territory, the ability to spot potential dangers, and the security of being out of reach. So why not provide them with a personal watchtower? A shelf, a cat tree, or even a dedicated perch on a bookcase can make all the difference. And remember, a cat who feels safe is more likely to be affectionate. Have you heard about pheromone diffusers? This might sound like something from a sci-fi movie, but in reality, it's a tool that could be a game changer in your relationship with your cat. So, what are pheromones? Simply put, they are chemicals that animals produce and use to communicate with each other. They can evoke feelings of comfort, familiarity, and even love. Now, imagine a device that can emit these pheromones, 
creating an environment that your cat associates with positive feelings. That's exactly what a pheromone diffuser does. It releases synthetic pheromones that mimic the ones cats naturally produce, which can help them feel safe, content, and more affectionate. These handy devices can be found at your local pet store or even online. So if you're looking to create a more calming and relaxed environment for your furry friend, consider giving pheromone diffusers a try. Creating a calm environment can help your cat feel more comfortable and affectionate. Last but not least, feed them well. A well-fed cat is a happy cat, and a happy cat is more likely to take a liking to you. Now this doesn't mean overfeeding them, but rather providing a balanced and nutritious diet that caters to their unique needs and dietary preferences. Cats, unlike dogs, are obligate carnivores, which means their bodies are designed to thrive on a diet rich in protein. Also, remember that cats prefer to graze, so small meals scattered throughout the day can help them feel satisfied and content. This feeding pattern mimics their natural hunting behavior and can contribute to their overall well-being. So don't skimp on the quality of your cat's food. Invest in high-quality, protein-rich meals and monitor their eating habits. If your cat is well-fed and content, they're more likely to associate these feelings of satisfaction with you. And there you have it, 10 scientifically proven ways to get a cat to like you. Well, that's it for today's guide on how to win a cat's affection. We've explored 10 scientifically backed strategies, understanding their behavior, respecting their space, using slow blinking, playing with them, providing high places, using pheromone diffusers, and feeding them well. We encourage you to try these tips and observe how your bond with your feline friend flourishes. Remember, every cat is unique. What works for one might not work for another, but with patience and understanding, you can become your cat's favorite person. Good luck. Before we wrap things up, we have a special message for you. Happy Halloween to all our viewers. May your day be filled with treats, not just for you, but for your feline friends too. Remember, cats enjoy playtime and treats as much as we do. So don't forget to include them in your celebration. And who knows, a Halloween themed toy might just be the thing to win your cat's heart. Make this Halloween a memorable one, not just for you, but for your furry friends as well. Happy Halloween again and may your day be filled with purrs. If you enjoyed our video, please subscribe to Cats Unraveled, thank all of you, and see you in the next one.